Hi dears and welcome to the first ever here on the channel real 100% natural review video of bars, cafeterias and restaurants in Benidorm. It's the first time ever I'll be doing this type of video with some honest 100% review as of myself of a real customer that's going there getting something to eat or drink and letting you know if overall it's a good place to visit or not. Today we start with a very popular place here at the end of the Levante beach which is Spasso Cafe Bar. Let's head there and see what Spasso can offer us. Right now there's a lot of people here on the beach so I'm with a mask. Just wanted to let you know that while we're walking I've noticed one thing, there are no sunbeds already here. They've taken out all the sunbeds. Probably it happened just now a few weeks ago because I've seen them not so long, time before this video. So no sunbeds already here on the beach. I'll show you how it looks like today. Quite a few tourists, I must say, are here today. I'll be doing the experiment in the specific way. For the sake of all this, what I'll be doing is I'm going to be talking in English with them. As if I would be just a normal, typical tourist that came here to Benidorm and wants to grab something to eat. Oh, it's difficult to breathe. Why I'm going to be doing this? Because if you talk in Spanish, first of all, I'll need to put subtitles. And for you, it's way more convenient. I want them to think that I'm a tourist here. Or like I'm a foreign person that just lives here. Because if I talk in Spanish, it kind of seems that I'm a Spanish one, so it's less likely that they would make something wrong or make some kind of mistakes. So I'm a tourist. Hi, everyone. We're heading to Spasso. After we will head to the beach, we'll sit down and I'll let you know all the different reviews that I was reading and what I was hoping to get in Spasso, how I was hoping to be attended and if it's actually a real thing if it's a good place to go or if it's definitely a no-go. So we are here already. There the Spasso cafeteria starts. Right here I'm gonna pick up some table or some chair. I'll sit down and we'll see what we can get. I'll be getting a breakfast which is a toast cafe and juice for four euros there's another one which is English breakfast for five so let's see how the thing will go by the way there's quite a lot of people in here already okay. the coffee? the toast coffee with milk yeah and the juice toast jam tomato butter uh, tomato if it can be please thank you. thank you I've taken the microphone out just want to show you how the place looks like very nice there's the inside part as well and this is the terrace there's quite a lot of tables and chairs they go up until the end of there so you can sit down and the views are just spectacular look at this the views are amazing so I've asked you've heard it for some just normal breakfast with a coffee with milk I don't drink coffee I just take it up for the sake of this experiment <laughs> and uh, some juice and some toast with tomato let's wait on how much time it will take them to bring it by the way one thing that I've noticed is that they have a menu here still um, I mean it's still here it should not be because it's forbidden to have menus like this you need to um, have it on like QR code or something that people cannot touch you know but I mean it is what they did and it's still here. Nah, not very good. Literally one minute later. Hiya. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. So that's the first thing. The toast is still to be prepared, but what I got is the coffee. Let's look at this nice looking coffee with some foam. That's like coffee with milk, cafe con leche it's called. So just that one here with some sugar and a juice for a lovely breakfast here in Benidorm. 
So the coffee and juice came back in literally like just a few minutes time. It was very, very fast. Um, something that I did not expect, but it's very nice. First point, very, very good. Let's taste the juice first. You know, I don't drink coffee. I'm going to try it just for the sake of the video. I love coffee. I don't drink it for medical purposes, but it's nothing too bad. So I can try it out. The juice is freshly pressed. It's freshly pressed, it's not from the bottle. You know, it's freshly pressed orange juice, even though the uh, glass is not very big, as you can see. But I mean, what could you expect if you have an offer of four euros? It's still quite good for breakfast, together with coffee and a toast. It's very, very nice. And it's freshly pressed juice. How cool is that? So this is definitely a plus for this place because a lot of them have like old, old juice, which is not fresh anymore, but it's still pressed, but it's not fresh. Some people give bottled ones, but this one is definitely fresh. So it's a good point for this place. The toast just arrived. Nice one. Oh, thank you. So this is the breakfast for four euros. They put some olive oil in here, some salt. This is the um, fresh tomato. It's not in like conserve, you know, like from the um, from the box or from like some kind of a container. It's just freshly uh, made tomato right here with some olive oil already. This is the toast and that's the um, olive oil right here. So this is the Spanish type of breakfast here in Spaso. The toast is still very, very warm, so it's very nice. Let's try coffee, if it's warm or not. Coffee for all of you from our lovely Benito. Mm. Yep, it's hot, it's still hot. And it's actually very good. As you know, I've not been drinking coffee for like six years, maybe. <laughs> and now I'm drinking one, but it's a very nice one. It's definitely very nice coffee, so quite a good offer so far so good i'm eating right now obviously because i took a breakfast and I just wanted to show you something. Don't want to be talking too loud, just in case. But I'm eating a toast, okay? These type of toasts, they should be made like with a baguette type of bread, you know, like a longer one. And what is supposed to happen that they should be crunchy, the bread should be done, you know? These ones, they are white. So like from this side, it's nice and crunchy looking, but when you go to the bottom, this part, like all this, it's actually not made, it's raw. So it's not the best toast that I've tried, definitely. So this is the first negative point for this place. The bread inside, it's raw. It should be crunchy from the bottom as well. Like it should be done, you know, at least like orangey type of yellowish, you know that it's baked. This one is not obviously, so. I'm gonna eat it still, but it's a negative point. It's something that, um, you know, as a person that lives here, as someone who who talks, who talks like about all this, who tries a lot of these things, for whom this type of food is like a natural thing to do. We always ask for the same things when we go somewhere with my hubby, my family. So for me, it's like, it's a different thing. The bread is, is it's just not cooked enough. It's just not made enough. It should not be like this. It's, I'm gonna show you like this should not be happening like it's it's not done up until the end but if it really matters for four euros maybe not it's kind of made done but it still needs like a few minutes in the oven but for four euros you get a coffee you get a juice you get the toast but for me it's definitely a minus thing when you eat toast they should not be raw definitely not while i'm here let me show you the cart obviously i'll disinfect my hands afterwards there's like a breakfast menu you have this one for four euros which is a toast coffee and natural freshly pressed juice 
uh, and it might be either toast or a croissant, so it depends on you. This also like with scrambled eggs with toast and butter, also another type of breakfast. And this is the spasso breakfast. This is a traditional one. It's slightly more. So it's like one euro extra, which is natural juice, two toasts, croissant, cheese, ham, butter, and some jam. English breakfast, five euros, two toast, bacon, eggs, beans, and sausages. So you can get any type of breakfast here from four to five euros in the morning. And then you have like a different, different types of coffees, teas in here, like espresso, solo, espresso, black coffee, coffee with milk. So starting from one euro, third toast, you have different toasts. One third is just with oil, olive oil, obviously. Virgin extra with a tomato, it's 140. Butter and jam, ham, tomato and serrano ham, tuna and tomato. Then you get some pastry from one euro thirty. Croissants, different types of croissants, depends how they prepare it from 150 to 3 euros. Sandwiches, 3 or 4. And eggs, scrambled eggs, French omelette, things like this from 4 till 6. And then you have some extras, which is butter, jam. I want to say ham all the time because in Spanish it's like H, you know. And fried egg as an extra. So this is like for breakfast, you also have some bocadillos, which are sandwiches in here. Have some crepes, cakes, milkshakes, ice cream sundaes. Obviously, then you get another menu, which is the menu already for, for lunch and dinner that you can take, starting from midday, which is this one right here. Oh my God, I don't want to touch it really. But you have like all the combos and like extras. Let me put my coffee away just a little bit let you have all the menu here all the salads salads are nine euros like all of them omelets all five pizzas all seven euros pasta all ten meat 15 39 like different ones see products 14 combined six euros and cocktails are like from seven eight nine euros depending on what you ask like the basic ones are eight euros without alcohol is six happy hour from five till eight all cocktails are six and pinned to 15. sangria three euros just a glass the jar is 12. not for me like to pay nine euros for a salad it's slightly excessive amount Although, who am I to judge? They have a lot of expenses right now. You know that they pay a lot of for the electricity. Um, they pay a lot like for first prime materials to prepare all the food. Everything is rising up. So maybe it's kind of okay right now. Um, but still like nine euros for just a normal salad. I'm not sure if it's a good price. Also, I've been checking the reviews on the TripAdvisor. They have like 720, slightly less, of reviews on TripAdvisor. And it's a 4 out of 5 stars officially. How about that? So it's quite a good place in terms of a TripAdvisor. I found the recent comments and a lot of them are saying that um, the coffee offer was like 1 euro, then I was charged 2. Obviously, in this breakfast cart, you've seen that they have different prices for different coffees. Um, so it's kind of normal. The person should just check it and not just... Of course, the advertisement that they have is just coffee 1 euro. So if it's not specified like with big letters from 1 euro or like um, just solo coffee, you know, plain coffee 1 euro, people would think that it's all types of coffee. So there the misunderstanding can come from. Some people also say that um, the service was very, very slow here. I did not even have time like, to turn my camera on, you know, to film what I'm asking them. Like I barely had any time and they were like very, very fast. The girl that attended me and that you've heard in the beginning, she was, um, she was quite nice. She was, oh, hi, oh, yes, do you want this, this or that? Like you've heard it, you know, she was quite friendly. Uh, the guy who brought me the toast, not so much. I think it's just like a language barrier, probably, more than any other thing, you know. So when tourists are coming, it's very different on how you'll be attended, sadly, by Span in Spanish or in English or in any other kind of language, just because the language barrier still exists here in Spain. Don't think that they don't want you here because it's not actually true. Don't think that they're being unpolite uh, when they are just talking like this, you know, the minimum amount of words. 
sometimes it's just they they don't want don't know what to say or how to say it in English so they prefer just to say basic words that they know for sure will be correct um, just not to make any kind of mistakes so bear that in mind when you visit they know obviously all the words that are on the menu they know all this like the basic things some of them will be very friendly they'll be very chatty with you as well so um, be prepared for that but the others will just be giving you the minimum words possible just because they don't know how to say all the other things but they want tourists here obviously it's the business it's their job it's their economic position in the family it's the money they're bringing so obviously they want tourists to visit their place sorry can you get the bill please So I've asked for the final bill I'll be paying with my card. It's a Spanish card, so I, maybe it will be strange for them. I should have paid in cash, but I did not think about this. Can you pay with the card? Yes. Four euros. Okay. And here. Okay. Okay, perfect. Can you stop, yeah? No, it's fine. Thank you. So this is the place. As you could have seen, it's quite big. Let's head to the beach and I'll let you know the overall impressions from this. This place, this cafe bar is usually open, by the way, from 9 in the morning up until 12, 30, maybe sometimes even 1 if it's busy, especially on weekend. First of all, I want to say that this place is rated as four stars, as I've told you already, and it's rated with one euro sign, which means that it's one of the cheaper places to go here in Benidorm to eat or have a snack. While it's of for offers, you know, the breakfast offer or the lunch menu offer that they have for 12 euros, at least this is what they had some while ago, it's a good price. If you take things separately, 9 euros for a salad or 10 euros for a like pasta dish or a meal, just one plate, it's slightly too much, even though it's an Italian place, as they say, uh, as they advertise themselves. I get why they do this. They pay for a lot of rent to be able to be here on the first line of the beach. So it's kind of obvious that they need to take this money from somewhere which is why the prices for the specific meals and different plates might be slightly higher up as in other places let's sum it up in different characteristics first of all the service the service was very good i would not put it as five stars like the maximum possible just because you know usually when you go to some different places people say oh have a good day well like they're more cheerful you know they're happy they want to talk to you they want to ask you questions once again it might be the language barrier it might not be who knows the girl was very friendly so five stars for her the boy that attended me that brought us the toast was he did not barely speak with me he just brought me the toast and i'm like oh thank you you've heard me and he was like mm, and that's it and he went away so um it's not a five star service definitely from the boy maybe he does not speak english which is why it happened that might be the case but if not, not very good from his side, because if what we want in Benidorm is more and more tourists coming, we need to show them that the attention that we give them, we want to have them here and not being as silent and basically not saying anything at all to the person who chose your place to have some nice breakfast and might even come back later on if the service was very good. The speed or with which they took the order, they brought me the food, they give me the final bill was very, very good actually. I was surprised. I've read quite a few reviews on the TripAdvisor, but these ones were in summer this year and some of them were from September and November when we had um, Benny Dome's Fiesta here official holiday so it was quite busy Benidorm was buzzing with people and tourists so I kind of feel that I know why this happened when there's a lot of tourists you might need to wait a little bit more obviously right now in the morning as you could have seen I barely managed to click on play like record because if not I would not, it would not give me any time to do it as quick as they came to take the order the order literally was like in one minute since I sat down uh, coffee and juice came approximately in two minutes maybe even less and the toast we needed to wait just a little bit more 
just in one extra minute after they brought me coffee or juice so like if i would have wanted to i could have had a speed breakfast in just five minutes and then go and do my things or get back to work whatever you need to do here in benidorm so the speed was definitely a five plus this was amazing very very fast in terms of the final bill i told it to her just gonna get the final bill she brought it to me immediately uh, I could pay with card, obviously, no problem at all. It was just five euro, four euros, sorry, it was four euros. And even four euros, you can pay it with a card. Let's head to the quality of food. Coffee was very, very good, very good quality coffee. With milk, it was hot when they brought it still, so it's very nice, especially in chilly winter types of mornings. Juice was freshly pressed like literally right now they've pressed it in the morning when they've as soon as they've opened up and they keep pressing it so it's always always fresh it's not from the bottle and the amount of juice that they give you the glass is not the smallest one like the shot one but it's just a normal glass which is just enough for one person so that's a plus definitely five points for that in terms of the toast you know it already i would give it a three to be honest with you i i could give it four points but it's just it's just not the same it's just not the best toast that you can have in benidorm definitely this raw mass this raw you know like bread is just something that for me it's a no living here and knowing how it could be it's definitely a no-go so it was good like the top part was good the tomatoes that they prepared the olive oil all that was good but as for the bread inside like how it felt it's just and the bottom part as well you've seen it it's white as a snow white like just three points because of that because of the quality of bread and that they did not cook it enough and brought it to me in this condition so overall i think it's definitely worth it for four euros or even a five euros english breakfast probably it's not the cheaper english breakfast in here but taking into consideration the place you are at with this lovely lovely views of the mediterranean sea the bars are just right here near the beach area so having all this and being able to enjoy all these views it's something that is worth considering especially just for five euros breakfast it's quite a good combination you would get charged the same amount inside of benidorm like anywhere in all other different types of bars in here but you would not have these amazing views from here just look at it these views are spectacular and in my opinion just my personal opinion okay they're worth any every kind of penny every single euro of the four euros which is not a lot you know but still uh, of the four euros that you spend on this type of traditional spanish breakfast because you are able to enjoy all this gorgeous views of our lovely mediterranean sea one negative point that i want to say it's just i don't think they are watching these videos because i'm very lucky that only tourists know me that like people who live here normally like spanish ones they don't know me so it's a very good plus when i'm doing these videos they don't know who i am and they treat me like a regular customer so far there is one thing that i want to let you know the management is not very nice when a person gives them any kind of negative rating or a complaint claim something online like on the TripAdvisor or on google the management instead of just saying um write us a private message we will sort it out or we're, we're very sorry for the inconvenience that we've caused to you you know instead of doing this which a good business should be doing um they are just attacking the customer and are trying to put like it's a customer's fault sometimes it might be the case you know no one is perfect the customer might just misunderstood something or something might have happened there but you need to give it a solution when the customer is still there you cannot attack a person later on online because it just does not give you a good the people will just see oh my god the management of this place is like is putting people down online like how dirty this looks you know if you know what i mean and a lot of people might be saying well if the management treats clients like that i'm not going to be going there which is a very very bad issue right now a lot of businesses they live from the advertisements that they make online this is how they attract people as well those who don't know this place exists but definitely did not like how the management reacted to negative comments we're sorry for the misunderstanding next time um, 
you won't have this issue. Like if you come back or we will invite you for a coffee, you know, things like this are what matters, but not attacking a guest. So yeah, this was one of the few negative things that I can say about this place that the management should be more polite to their guests in terms of complaints. But the service, as you could have seen, was good. So I definitely agree with the review on TripAdvisor and Google with four stars for this establishment because it's definitely worth visiting. If you have been to Spa, so please let us know in the comments. If you have tried some meals in there, leave your comment here down below because a lot of, for a lot of people that will be coming here and will, would like to try this place, it's very, very important to know if you had a nice or not so much experience in Spaso. So this was our Spaso. By the way, I think they've taken down the one euro coffee offer because it's not here anymore. You have this, which is like this Spasso man, very nice one. And then you have this, like breakfast, all you need is coffee, but it does not say one euro anymore. So they've taken this out, sadly. I hope you enjoyed watching today's first ever review on one of the cafe bars here in Benidorm, which is Spasso. Some more will be waiting for you shortly here on the channel. Bye.